G'day YouTube, Boxhead Spencer here, and welcome to the first episode of StarCraft. In this episode, we'll be starting the tutorial mission for the Terran campaign, where you'll walk you through basically the basic idea of what you have to do in the StarCraft game. So let's jump right in. Terran campaign, Rebel Yell. In the decades since the end of the Guild Wars, the oppressive Terran Confederacy has stood unchallenged in its supremacy over colonized space. All that changed four days ago when a large alien fleet emerged from warp space and laid waste to the unsuspecting Confederate colony of Charsara. The Confederacy, fearing that the alien fleet's next target will be the colony of Marsara, has sent you to intervene. Acting as magistrate, you are to safeguard the colonists and keep their state of panic from escalating any further. Sounds scary. Boot camp, office of the colonial magistrate, Marsara Colony. Welcome to Marsara, Magistrate. The equipment demonstration you requested is prepared and may be initiated at your convenience. Simply select Start to begin the demonstration. You may skip the demonstration by selecting Skip Tutorial. Cool, so let's jump right in. If you don't select Start, she does get a little bit annoyed at you after a while, but we're not going to let her get annoyed because we're nice people. The T-280 SCV is the cornerstone of our hostile environment construction and resource gathering operations. Roger that. In order to build a thriving colony, numerous SCVs are necessary. You can build additional SCVs at a command center. So yeah, basic idea, we need to build SCVs. SCVs are like the worker dudes, basically, and the worker dudes are, are the dudes that build buildings for you and collect your resources that you need. So... We'll set this guy to collecting some resources we begin with. So we click on him and we right click on the minerals over here. In order to equip additional personnel, you must have enough supply depots to support them. You can use SCVs to build additional supply depots. So, sorry about that. Um, so you right click on the minerals and the SCV starts gathering them and it sends it back to your command center and then you get more minerals as you can see up the top here. So let's build that supply depot they want to do. So we go with the SCV and we go in the build structure and we build a supply depot. And we'll put it right next to this other one here so it's not feeling so lonely. So you can build as many SCVs as you want, assuming you have enough minerals. At the moment we've only got 24 up here and an SCV requires 50 minerals and one supply. And you can see here that we have 18 out of 18 supplies. So we have a maximum of 18 and we're using up 18 supply at the moment. Once the supply depot is, depot is finished, we'll go up to more supply maximum. And so we'll be able to build more people if we want to. So he's finished building his supply depot. We can select him and tell him to do something else now. So we'll get him to collect some more minerals as well. Now we're going to need to build three supply depots in total, I believe, from the mission objectives. So we have to save up enough money to build another supply depot. And supply depot costs 100 minerals, so we'll go ahead and build that in a minute. These dudes that are just standing around doing nothing are the marines. And marines are basically your dude with a gun, basically, and then your basic attacking unit that we can use. So just get them out of the way for a second. We've almost got 100 minerals to build our next supply depot, which would be good. So he's going to go ahead and build that. And the other mission objective was we need to collect this resource called Vespin Gas. Now, minerals are the most important resource because everything requires minerals. Vespin Gas is another resource that basically lets you build more advanced buildings and troops that are more powerful than just your average dude with a gun, basically. So, like, you can build tanks later on in the game, and you can build your battleships, and all sorts of crazy stuff. Alright, he's done. So, we might as well get him getting minerals, because before we can harvest the recipe, Vespine gas, we need something to convert it into something we can use. At the moment, it's just a bunch of gas. So, we need to build a refinery on top of it, to let us collect that gas and actually be able to use it. So once we've got up to 100 minerals, which I believe is what the refinery costs, yep, 100 minerals, we can then build that. Now something I'll be probably using a lot throughout the game is something called hotkeys. Instead of having to manually click on a building and click on the button you want to build, I could, you can see that the SCV word has the, the letter S coloured in yellow, that means it's a hotkey. 
So when I have this building selected, I can just press the S button and it will start building an SCV. If I select the SCV, I can see here that the build structure button has a yellow B. So if I press B, it selects that for me. And our refinery has a yellow R, so I can press R to select the refinery. And I can build that on top of the Vespin geyser. So once he's done, we'll be able to collect Vespin gas from there. Um, when you use buildings that can train units, you can set a rally point by the click that, selecting that button and clicking somewhere, or you can simply just right click on the ground where you want that the rally point to be. The rally point is useful because when you build a unit, the rally point tells that unit where to go as soon as it's done. The refinery processes raw Vespine gas, converting it into a form which your SCVs can gather. So yeah, that's just letting you know about the Vespine gas. So we need to go collect more gas to finish this tutorial. So once he's back from that mineral, we can do that. And we've got enough minerals, so we might as well build another SCV. And then once all that gas is done, we can finish the mission. So yeah, tutorial mission is pretty easy. It's a nice little stepping stone for how to play the game or its basic concepts. This concludes the equipment demonstration. There will now be a fully catered reception at Marsara Base. Thank you. And that is the end of that mission. We achieved victory. And there's the score screen at the end. This lets you know all sort of stats about what happened throughout the mission and stuff like that. So it gives you an overview, stats about your units, stats about your structures, and stats about your resources. But for now, I think we're done. So this concludes this video. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.